Hi hamster lovers and welcome to Pancake's channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to travel with a hamster as well as doing a vlog of the zoo and rides at Chessington World of Adventures. So first, let's talk about travelling with your hamster. If you're planning to travel with them for a short period of time, say going to the vets or taking them home, you will need a secure travel carrier. The size of the travel carrier will depend on the size of the hamster and also how long the journey is. The longer the journey, the larger the carrier will need to be. If possible, it's a good idea to keep your hamster in their regular cage when going on long journeys. This means that your hamster will be less stressed as they're in a familiar environment. If that isn't possible, then small pet store cages are better. Here is how to set up a travel cage. First, use bedding from their cage to line the bottom of the carrier. The familiar scent of the bedding will make them less stressed. Next, you'll need a lightweight hide such as a plastic or coconut hide and not a ceramic hide as these are too heavy and they could squash the hamster if they burrow underneath them or if the car stops suddenly. Adding spray to the cage will enrich their natural foraging behaviours and help keep them busy on the journey. Scattering forage around the enclosure will help enrich their natural foraging behaviours and so will scatter feeding their food and this will also keep them busy. Adding torn up toilet paper will give them the opportunity to make a nest. Instead of giving your hamster water in a bottle or a bowl which could spill, you could give them cucumber. Giving them a little bit of cucumber is good to hydrate them, however don't give them too much as this could give them diarrhoea. It's very important to make sure someone's holding the cage or to secure the cage with a seat belt. That way if the car stops, the cage won't go flying. If you're only going on a two day trip, then it should be fine to leave them alone. It's very important to make sure they have access to clean fresh water at all times though. You could either use two bowls or two bottles for this. They should also be fed before you leave. It's also incredibly important to make sure that their cage is escape proof before you leave them. It's also a good idea to top up their enrichment. If you're going on a very long trip then leaving them with a trusted friend or family member is a good idea. Giving the person a list of directions on how to look after them can help prevent accidents. For example, you could tell them not to take the hamster out of the cage just to prevent them from accidentally being dropped. You should also tell them how much and how often they should be fed and also to top up their water daily. When taking your hamster anywhere, it's important to try and make the journey as short as possible. This is because travelling is very stressful for them and it can lead to a stress-related disease called wet tail. Don't use wet tail drops though as these don't work and they're unsafe. Also, don't leave them in a hot car as this is harmful. If you follow these steps, you should have a happy hamster over the holidays. Now, here's the Chessington World of Adventures vlog.
that's the end of this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Bye!